No, we're talking about my awareness. Well, I mean, let me quote you, uh, a man who became a great friend of yours later, Spock, Leonard Nimoy, the actor, he says at the time it was very competitive. It was like sibling rivalry. He said after a few weeks, NBC started getting messages saying saying from the public they wanted to see more of Spock. Give us the guy with the pointy ears. Well, he said that could be a problem for the leading man, i.e. you. You didn't like it so much. It wasn't that I didn't like it. I didn't understand it. Here I was acting my heart out. And they were asking for more with the guy with the pointy ears who would have an occasional word to say, uh, not now, uh, Captain, or, you know, uh, that sort of thing. So I, as an actor, didn't understand that. But Leonard well, It was your Nimoy, ego, I guess, kicking uh, in. Ego and all, and uh, curious, you know, uh, why is that happening? I'm glad. Leonard Nimoy is a wonderful man. And, uh, and uh, over many years, well, if we were talking about the three years of the, of the series, I don't recall anything more than an occasional uh, uh, moment of anxiety. I, 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 my recollection is all very extraordinarily friendly. Uh, well, you, I, I know you must have been aware that George Take, for example, who played Sulu, and Nichelle Nichols, whom we've talked about, they... Afterwards, they did suggest that, no, no, they to be in, polite, that you had a very big ego right. and that you were somewhat insecure about others getting too much of the limelight. No, that isn't so. That, that is their interpretation years later. Nichelle and, and George were people who came in for a day, maybe in a week or ten days of shooting when we were shooting. They were not there very often. And... After the show was over and Star Trek became popular, they would go to conventions like this and, and, and suddenly begin to realize, you know, I, I should have had my own show, they began to think. Then they began to write in books about my ego. I, I don't have an ego. The, uh, the, the thing that I'm most proud of is my professionalism and my ability to work with people. I, I never had, in three years of association with them, I never had a, a bad word with any of them, uh, but especially with George and, and Walter. And, and It was only years later that, in fact, the way I discovered it was I was writing a book, and I went in to, uh, to uh, interview George, and it was great. I went to his house, uh, his apartment, and it was be- beautifully appointed. We spoke well, and nothing untoward happened. And then I went on to uh, uh, Michelle, and I went to her house to interview her for the book and finished this lovely interview, and I got up to leave. And she said, now this is years later. This is 10 years later. She said, don't you want to know how much we hated you? Excuse me? Sat back down and then included it in my book. I was shocked. Mm -hmm. So they may have had those feelings then. They never expressed them, and they never expressed them for years afterwards. 